What's up guys, I'm Kevin Nahai. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And on today's episode, I wanna talk a little bit about depression. I wanna tell you about my experiences with depression over the years. I've been mildly depressed, I've been severely depressed, and everything in between. And it's not super fun, but it is extremely important because of how common depression is, especially among millennials. So I wanna hit three points in this video. One, I wanna talk about symptoms. Two, I wanna talk about treatments. And three, I wanna drive home some really important essential points about depression so that we, both as individuals and as a society, change the way we view it, change the way we stigmatize it. So let's get into symptoms. Um, the major symptoms that I have experienced over the years this really started to happen for me when I was about 18, 19 years old. The biggest symptom was oversleeping. I would just sleep way too much. I would take three hour naps in the middle of the day. I would sleep for like 12, 14 hours at night, but it wasn't restful sleep. It was disturbed sleep. It was anxious sleep. So one of the ways that I know I'm sort of on the precipice of depression and in danger of falling into depression is if I start to sleep way too much. Um, and on the topic of not wanting to get out of bed, the other major symptom that I experienced and that a lot of people experienced is general malaise, general fatigue, general lack of motivation, complete loss of interest in hobbies and activities and school and work and things that you usually feel excited about doing. You just wanna stay in bed. You have no interest in doing those things anymore. Some other symptoms are rapid weight gain or rapid weight loss, um, irritation, anxiety, agitation, generally feeling angry, generally feeling sad, everything seems bleak, despondent, hopeless, it's just this state where everything just seems awful all the time for no particular reason. And there's an important distinction here between sadness and depression. Sadness is usually precipitated by some sort of event. You go through a breakup or you lose a loved one and you know, you might be sad for a few days or a few weeks, but you can sort of start to feel yourself coming back to a state where you're more or less stable, right? Whereas depression just drags on and on and on. So one of the ways in which you might know that you're depressed has to do with the length of time for which you've been feeling that way. Now, I wouldn't recommend that you self-diagnose. I wouldn't recommend that you go on WebMD and you know, try to figure out, am I depressed because I've been feeling sad for X amount of time. Instead, I would recommend that you go see a therapist or a doctor or a psychiatrist, somebody who is clinically and professionally trained to diagnose and see what your symptoms of depression really are. And this brings me to the second point I wanna cover, which is treatments, okay? The treatment that has helped me the most is meditation, especially with my anxiety. I have a video on anxiety below that I'll link in the description. Meditation has been huge for my anxiety and depression. The second one that has helped me is exercise, especially when you don't want to do it. When you're depressed, as I said, you really have to struggle to find motivation, but the biggest motivation you need to muster is to get up and go to the gym. Get up and go for a 30 minute walk somewhere in nature. I don't know why or how it works, but exercise has been proven year after year to mitigate depression. The third treatment that is super helpful is therapy. This could be talk therapy, it could be CBT, could be EMDR, could be ISTDP, these are all different types of therapies and you can check them out and find out which would be most effective for you. But if you're depressed, chances are therapy is gonna help you. And the last treatment that's been super helpful for me over the years is medication, right? 
Medications for anxiety or depression, such as SSRIs or SNRIs, I cannot overstate the importance of these things. I'm talking about small doses of medication that are prescribed to you by a psychiatrist, the purpose of which are to bring you out of your depression and fix a chemical imbalance in your brain, because that's really what's going on. I cannot tell you the number of people I meet who say, I'm depressed, but I don't want to take medication because I feel like I should be able to do it on my own. And that is just so misguided. That is just so stupid. That is like saying it's freezing cold outside, but I don't want to put on a jacket because I feel like I should be able to do it on my own. I should get warm on my own. Like it makes absolutely no sense. But I understand where it's coming from because there is such a stigma attached to taking medication. And in general, there is such a stigma attached to being depressed. This brings me to the final point that I want to cover, which is that if you are depressed, yes, it's a big deal in that you need to get it checked out and you need to start seeking some treatment options, but it is not a big deal in the sense that it happens to everyone. Every person you know, either themselves or someone that they are very close to, has been or will be depressed at some point in their lives for some length of time. It is something that happens every day of the week and there is absolutely no shame in it. When you're depressed, you feel shitty enough. The last thing you need is to feel shitty about feeling shitty. Instead, what you need is to accept the fact that you might be in a little bit of a low place in your life and redefine what success is. What I mean is change the scope of your goals. Set smaller goals to help yourself get out of a depression. So whereas you might have really high lofty goals when you're feeling strong and happy and stable and motivated, when you're feeling depressed, you got to bring the bar a little bit lower. You got to say that today at the end of the day, if I just make it to the gym or if I just do these two or three things, I'm successful. And you have to reward yourself for hitting those small targets day after day, right? And eventually, as you hit those small targets, your confidence starts to build. You start to increase your feeling of motivation and your feeling of accomplishment and in combination, with meditation and therapy and exercise and medication, you start to feel less depressed. You start to feel happy again. And it's a process, right? But if from the outset you are saying, I'm depressed, there's something wrong with me, I can't take medication, I can't talk to anyone about this, people will think that I'm a fuck up, all that's gonna happen is you're gonna get deeper and deeper into your depression. Accept the fact that right now you might not be feeling as great as you would like, change the scope of your goals, start to hit smaller targets, don't feel ashamed, seek treatments, and before you know it, you will be back to your happy-go-lucky, jovial, motivated self. So I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'm always here to listen, and I will see you guys on the next episode.